Would you like to see the top 10 best games for Doug that will make them happier? Doug games are entertaining, but also quite useful for your Doug. Why? Through play, you can encourage your Doug to be innovative and creative, teach your Doug how to communicate, teach them the rules of behavior, and have them spend their energy. The most important thing to point out here is that Ducks love spending time with their owners and it makes them happier. Before we begin with the list, I would like to ask you to share this video on your Facebook profile using the share button below the video, that way your friends will also be able to find out new entertaining games for Ducks. Let's take a look at the list of the top 10 best games for Ducks that make them happier. Game for Duck number 10, Chasing Bubbles. The Chasing Bubbles game is pretty simple and it's easy to teach your duck how to play. When bubbles are in the air, the duck has to catch them before they fall to the ground. How to encourage your duck to chase after the bubbles? To start with, catch a few bubbles yourself to show the duck they are harmless. Also try not to make too many of them right away so they don't scare your duck. Make a few bubbles, one to three. Chasing Bubbles is a rather simple game, you can play with your duck either indoors or outdoors. Do pay attention to the liquid you use to create the bubbles, though. Keep an eye on how your duck is reacting to it. Also, be wary of substances that might be toxic to ducks or ones that irritate their eyes. Finally, I advise that you wipe your duck's face once you have finished with the game. Many ducks out there love chasing bubbles. Are you ready to try it out? Game for duck number 9, Hide and Seek. Hide and Seek is another game that will encourage your pet to use their favorite sense of smell. For this game, your duck should be familiar with the wait command as well as be able to come to you when caught. Tell your duck to wait. While your duck is waiting, find a hiding place, then call the duck to you. Once they have found you, make sure to reward them. Regardless of their weight, your dog will always enjoy finding you and getting rewarded for it. You can play hide and seek both inside the house and outside. Game for duck number 8, digging. Some ducks utterly love digging. If you don't want them digging up your yard, it might be a good idea to make them a dig box. Play some soft soil into the dig box and encourage your dog to dig in that box. How to make digging more enticing? If you would like to strengthen your dog's desire to dig in the chosen area, bury a bone or a toy there, but make sure they are watching. And finally, once they have dug out the bone or a toy you put there, make sure to reward them. Game for dog number 7, walking and running. One easy way to tire out a dog, especially for beginner owners, is walking and running. It's a good idea to keep your dog wished at first, so you can better coordinate them. When you are walking, they are walking, when you speed up, your dog will start to run. If you own an energetic dog, running is a necessary exercise for tiring out your dog, making them happier and preventing them from being destructive. Running, either with you or other dogs, is one of their favorite activities. Game for dog number 6, Fetch. Fetch is one of the most popular games for dogs. When you throw something, for example a bow, your dog has to retrieve it. Your dog should be familiar with the come and let go commands. They are fundamental commands and you will be using them to call your dog back to you once they have cut the ball as well as to let go of it once they arrive. Do dogs find this game fun? Fetch entertains dogs all around the world. Dogs will often pick up the ball on their own and bring it to you. Sounds pretty good, right? Of course, they are trying to get you to throw the ball so they can go and fetch it. Be sure to try out this game with your pet. The next game is merely an upgrade to the classic game of fetch. Game for act number 5, fetch in water. If you live near a sea, are going on a vacation or have a pool, you should try out throwing toys in the water. The only thing you have to be careful of is whether the toy will float or sink to the bottom. Naturally, the best toys are bows that float. Dogs love them and they will gladly go swimming to reach them. If you ever find yourself in the opportunity, be sure to try this game out with your dog. Game for dog number 4, Treasure Hunt. Dogs all over the world love a good treasure hunt. Treasure hunting is an excellent indoor game for pets where the only thing you will need is dog treats. 
Of course, treasure hunting will require you to hide some dark treats around your home. Even when you are not around or if you are leaving home for a little while, hiding some treats around the house is a great way to keep your dog entertained. Why do dogs love treasure hunts so much? Dogs have an incredibly well-developed sense of smell and it's natural for them to want to sniff around when they are outside. New smells they come across help stimulate your dog, it's a great idea to let them sniff around during a walk every once in a while. The treasure hunting game lets dogs utilize their sense of smell in a fun and exciting way. And now for the top 3 best dog games, ready? Game for dog number 3, the Tug of War. Tug of War is very entertaining for dogs, your dog can play it either with you or with another dog. What do you need for a successful game of Tug of War? Ropes and tug of war toys are usually very affordable and available in pet stores. You can also make your very own toy by using an old shirt you no longer wear. You need to only to make a rope shaped toy the dogs won't be able to tear up easily. What rules should you set for a game of tug of war? First, you start the game by using a command. Second, when your dog's teeth make a contact with your skin, say no and stop the game. And third, teach your dog to let go of a toy and when you command them to let go, they have to let go of it. You might also be interested in knowing whether letting your dog win could make them more dominant and aggressive. The short answer is, it won't. If you let your dog win now and then, you will further intrigue them and show them that you are enjoying yourself in their company. In conclusion, Tug of War is a solid and above all, highly entertaining game. Game for dog number 2, Frisbee. I believe every one of you will know the rules of this particular game. So what you need is a frisbee toy for dogs. You throw it and your dog has to catch it and bring it back to you. Why is the frisbee game good for dogs? It's good primarily because it satisfies their need to hunt. The game is also rather entertaining and has the potential to exhaust your dog. Frisbee is like a more advanced version of the fetch game. To encourage your dog to chase after a frisbee, Try throwing it shorter distances and avoid throwing it directly to your dog. In just a few moments you will see the very best game for dogs. The best game for dog is the chase. Dogs love to chase. There are specific toys made for this game such as furred poles. Furred poles are long sticks with a rope attached to one end. At the other end of this rope is a war, bow or another toy. A flirt pole allows you to slowly spin the rope while the dogs try to catch it. These games satisfy dogs' predatory instincts. All dogs, especially hunting dogs, love to hunt. Chasing games will satisfy this craving in a modern and entertaining way. Suddenly speeding up or quickly moving the pole from side to side will swiftly tire out your dog. Whether it's an improvised or purpose-made toy, chasing games are appropriate for all kinds of dogs. Owners from all around the world state their dogs adore this game. Why has this game taken first place on the list? No previous training is necessary to play a game of chase. It's incredibly easy and entertaining and everybody can play with their dog. Are you ready to try it out? Games don't only serve to entertain your dog, they are vital for your dog's development. Take some time out of your day for your pets and make them more happier by playing with them. Do you know of any games I haven't mentioned in the video that make your dog happy? If so, I invite you to share them with other animal lovers in the comment section below. And of course, all suggestions are welcome. Would you like to see more? In the description, I have prepared links to the videos of the top 10 deadliest, most aggressive, most dangerous, most beautiful, smartest, smallest dog breeds in the world, and many more. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and share it with your friends on Facebook and other social networks. If you would like to keep up with the upcoming videos, please consider subscribing and joining the other animal lovers. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!